Man, they don't want me to record this fucking module, bro. My computer just fucking shut off and I have to redo this shit now. Let's fucking get it, baby. Challenges. Okay, this is exactly what I'm fucking preaching. We're gonna make this shit even better than I just fucking did. Cause I'm now I'm pumped to fucking talk about this shit even more. Let's talk about building a winning framework for your daily fucking habits, okay? Your life is built on habits, point blank, center, period, done. That's it. You have bad habits or you have good habits or you have a mixture of both. That's it. That's the, that defines who you are on a daily basis, okay? Everything is about the systems that you put in place. So if you want to grow, you got to have systems that align with growing. If you want to go fucking crash and burn and become a drug addict, then you're probably going to have systems that align with that, okay? That's it, period. Step one, brutal self-assessment. Where the fuck are you? Where do you want to go? What are your shitty habits? What is wasting your time? And what are the excuses that you make for yourself? Answer these three questions, okay? Because if you can't build systems that you don't have any fucking idea on what your current systems are, right? Your, your current systems are another way of just saying, do, do an imaginary day in life right now of, of where you stand. What do you do in the morning? What do you do? In the middle of the day, what do you do in the afternoon? What do you do at night? What do you do before bed? Do you jerk off before fucking bed like a dumbass? So you release your seed? Okay, nice, don't do that anymore. Do you eat like fucking shit throughout the day? Okay, don't do that anymore. Do you not work out? Okay, go do that now. Dude, stop making it so complicated for yourself. I'm here to make you realize that it's a lot easier than it has to be, okay? It's just your brain overthinking and it's the voices in your head that are like, oh, well, like, I want to do this, but I want to do that, and I don't really know what to pick. Stop being so indecisive. That's called drifting. We don't want to drift. We want to be decisive. If I'm not going to do something, I'm not going to do it. Say it with your chest. I'm not going to do it. Say it with some intention. You fucking see how I speak? Intention, decisiveness. Fuck you, baby. That's the energy we need. That's what you have to say to yourself. Fuck you. I'm not fucking caving. That's not who I am, okay? Be honest with yourself, okay? Write it all down. Answer those fucking three questions. Number two, step two, define what's your non-negotiables, my friend. Do you even have non-negotiables? Most likely not, and that's okay. We're gonna get you some non-negotiables. My non-negotiables, at my current stage in life, waking up at 5.30 in the morning, doing a cold plunge as soon as I wake up before six o'clock in the fucking morning, taking a morning shower, Morning prayer, okay? Gym, some form of exercise. I might be, it might be an off day from strength training, but I'm getting in my apartment gym and I'm doing cardio, okay? These are non-negotiables for me. It's creating content for you guys, okay? Helping people become better. Working with my clients, my one-to-one mentorship clients. Helping them overcome their obstacles. Like These are my non-negotiables that if they don't get done, I hit the pillow at night and I wanna kill myself, okay? I'm, you have to be a level of fucking insane, delusion, whatever you wanna put the words on it have to be consistent in the things you want, which means that you're gonna have to do them sometimes when you don't feel like doing them. That's fine, you're not gonna always feel like doing it, okay? Hold on, let me change the fucking, the brightness on this shit since you can barely probably see me. Okay, that's good. Okay, you need non-negotiables, okay? It's easier to start small, because you, you wanna be consistent. Wake up at a specific time that you know you can wake up at, and if you fucking don't know you can wake up at it, then still do it anyway. Challenge yourself. Always pick the hard decision. You should be doing some form of daily physical training, and that also is gonna help you with the third one here, which is growing your mindset and overall mentality. But you have to do things like reading a fucking book, a hardcover book, or a softcover book, fuck you, whatever. A book. Educate yourself, challenge your mind to stay on the fucking words of the page and not drift into thoughts, okay? This is called mental training. This is mindset training, right? Everything is mindset training. You're training your mind to be a pussy when you jerk off, right? But you're not training your fucking mind to be strong by doing that. So you gotta do the shit that you know you have to do and have non-negotiables because that's gonna shape your identity. It's gonna shape who you wanna be and it's gonna help you burn the ships of who the fuck you are now that needs to get out of here, all right? Step three. Reverse engineer your goals into daily action. So what are your goals, right? Write your goals down. My goal is to get a six pack. My goal is to 
have a strong mind. My goal is to get go on a date with Becky. My goal is to retire my parents. My goal is to start a business. My goal is to blah, 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 right? Write your goals down. Because if you don't write your goals down, you're not going to be able to reverse engineer them, okay? Too many people set massive goals, but they don't break down how to take daily actions to get there. Because if you had a good goal, right? Like people, the, the, the fitness is the easiest shit to talk about. If you have a fucking fitness goal, and you wanna get a six pack in 90 days, and you don't know what you're gonna do every single day that's leading up to that day to achieve that goal, then how do you think you're gonna achieve that goal? You're not going to achieve that goal, okay? And the odds you do is probably fucking less than 5%. Give yourself some, some good odds for, for the one time. This isn't a lottery ticket, okay? This is systematic science. Okay? It's science. There might not be fucking literature science, but there is probably literature on all this shit. There, there definitely is. It's people, bro. People are evidence. People are fucking science. My own evidence of my own life, my experience is science. Okay? Everyone's experience is your own science. You're your own fucking experiment, motherfucker. Simple. You gotta break it down to daily actions, weekly actions, and monthly actions. Okay? You have to have daily goals that you have to hit which are gonna help you hit your weekly goals, and those weekly goals are gonna help you hit your monthly goals. And those monthly goals, you guessed it, are gonna get you that 90 day six pack, right? Whatever the fuck your goal is. Okay, cool. Here's an example. Goal, drop 20 pounds of fat in six months. Monthly goal, lose three to four pounds. Weekly action, five workouts, daily cardio, meal prep. Daily action, hit macros, track your intake, train hard, get steps in. Bullshit, very simple, and very, very straight to the point, obviously. Just apply this formula for whatever the fuck your goals are. Every single one of them, you better write it down and you're fucked, okay? You don't, your mind, you, I promise you, if you haven't done it yet, thinking that, you know, well, I could just like think about it and it will like, it will come to me, you know, like I'll just, I'll remember. Dude, you've been trying that for how long? It doesn't work, bro. Get systematic with your approach, okay? Build the right habits. Cause you got, just swallow the pill, bro. Because these methods are proven to work, okay? Proven. Step four, gotta have high energy, baby. Let's fucking go. Build your daily routine around discipline, not motivation. I know I talked on it the last fucking module, but let me make this clear, okay? Once again, motivation is not going to carry you to your goals. Who's gonna carry the boots? Not you when you're fucking not motivated, okay? It's just bullshit, it's temporary, it's fleeting, it's gone, bye-bye. Discipline, okay, is forever. Discipline is an unshakable force. Discipline is the highest form of love as well. If you have discipline in your daily routine and not motivation, you'll still win. If you just have motivation, you'll win sometimes, lose the majority of the time. If you have discipline and motivation, then you're just on a fucking streak. Congratulations. But you need discipline no matter what. Discipline is non-negotiable. Discipline is non-negotiable. Okay? Set a schedule for yourself and stick with it, man. You need to set a schedule. What the fuck are you doing every single day? What's your to the daily to-do list? What's your task that need to be accomplished for you to win the day? Get it done, bro. That's why you gotta write it down so that you just can't, you don't have to think about what you have to do. You have to just look at the goddamn list and take the action. Eliminate the goddamn distractions, bro. If you're not making money on social media, get the fuck off social media. Unless you're watching one of my fucking videos, why are you on Instagram? Why are you on TikTok? Why are you on Snapchat? Why are you on X or Twitter? Whatever bird you wanna fucking call it, whatever the fuck. Why are you on YouTube? Why are you on all these platforms that are literally meant to keep you on it longer, to distract you and make you less accountable and make you a failure? It's very simple. So either you create content or get the fuck off. Yeah, boom. And then you gotta create accountability, okay? Whether it's through a mentor, a friend, it doesn't matter. Just make some fucking good choices in your life. And if you fuck them up, stop being a pussy, okay? Hold yourself accountable to your, mess, to, your, to your mess ups and your fucking victories. Both are your fault. When you win, it's your fault. When you lose, it's your fault too. Isn't that just a fantastic fucking circle, circular life of fuckery, right? When you lose and everything is burning in flames, it's your fault. When you're winning and you're in, in the fucking Lambo and you're living your lifestyle like the way you want it to fucking be, it's your fault too. It's great. So stop being a victim 
and thinking that life's just gonna bless you because that's not how it works, man. You gotta have discipline, and that starts with your habits, okay? It's all, it's all, this is all about habits. Habits, habits, habits. Step five, adapt, adjust, but never compromise, okay? This is fucking crucial. Your system isn't static, okay? As you grow, you're gonna have to change things, improve things, and you're gonna need to hit new levels because life is constantly moving, so you better move along with it. So your habits and systems, they do need to evolve and they do need to become more aligned as you move further away from where you begin to where you current, which where you are on the spectrum. So if you started here, now you're here, but you wanna be here, you can't have systems that are for here anymore. You gotta have systems that are for here now. You got, you got what I'm saying? Okay, cool. It's a flexible framework, but the principles remain the same, okay? As you progress, you simply make minor adjustments along the way. As you progress physically and your, your physique is changing, you add different things to your workout, you change up exercises, you change up the rep ranges, the sets, the total volume, the exercises, you add new daily actions to your overall lifestyle, you remove things that no longer fucking make any sense for where you're at, and you constantly reflect, okay, on where the fuck you were, where you are, and where the fuck you're going. Okay, refine and redefine your focus every single day, okay? Cool, let's see, where'd I go? Here, cool. Step six, create a system for accountability and reflection because accountability is genuinely everything. If you're not tracking your progress, you ain't making no progress. And you be like, what? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Dude, the reason that tracking your progress is so crucial is because if you don't know where you're going, you will hit a roadblock at some point and you won't have the right knowledge and information to overcome that because you haven't been tracking your progress. You don't know what, you be, what you've been doing on a day-to-day -day basis that's been getting you the results you want and you also don't know what you've been doing that's been not getting you the results you want. I've been victim of this and as I've implemented it, my life's completely fucking revolutionized, okay? So hold yourself accountable to the systems that you create, okay? And constantly adapt them, okay? Daily check-ins, weekly reviews, accountability partners. This is exactly what we do with my one-to-one -one fucking mentors, mentees, my one-to-one -one mentees. We literally have daily check-ins, texting each other every day. What's going on? What the fuck is up? How are we doing? Are we accomplishing this goal? What do we gotta do today? What are the, what are the habits that we're fucking implementing today? Is it the same as last week? Is it, is it different? Is it something that needs to be adapted? Whatever. Then weekly reviews, weekly check-ins. How was the week? Did we fucking fall short? Did our, our, do we need to change something? Are you hitting your goals? And then we have a fucking full mental accountability call where we're fucking chopping it up, talking about everything that you need to understand about where you're currently at mentally that might be holding you back that you need to change in order to fucking grow into the person that you wanna become. Reflection is key because it allows you to course correct any fucking bullshit that you've been on recently, okay? You need the accountability because without it, you're gonna end up falling into the old you again and you're gonna somehow manage to bring your ashes that we talked about in the last module back to fucking life. And that is fucking retarded. Don't do that, please. It's not an option. Step seven, baby. Commit to the long game, okay? This isn't some short-term bullshit. Once again, I said it in the last module. Get it in your skull, my friend. I know you're still teetering back and forth with this bullshit. Get it in your head. This is a lifelong commitment. The framework you build isn't just for reaching one goal. It's for constant leveling up. Why the fuck is it so dark now? Hold on. Fuck. There we go. It's fucking dark outside. This is why I don't like recording at night. Anyway, there's no end to growth, okay? There is no finish line. You hit a new level, guess what? You gotta raise the bar and go to the next fucking level because that's what you do in a video game, right? You play fucking Call of Duty, I don't fucking know, Madden, 2K. As soon as you get to the next level, you go. You just gotta go, you just keep grinding until you get to the next level. You get like a, a quick little dopamine hit, you're like, ah, okay, damn, I'm orange as hell. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna come out bad. I'm, I got my fucking blue light blockers on my computer right now, so I look fucking red. If I'm red, then I'm sorry, but you better fucking listen. I don't give a shit. This module's almost over. This is important, motherfucker. It's a, it's a long game, baby. What I was saying, video games. You get video games, right? You got one level, you beat, you get a dopamine hit, and you start going to the next level because the odds that you beat the fucking game is pretty unlikely because it doesn't fucking end usually. 
Some games, yeah, there's like an end to the fucking level, but in life, that's not how it works. It's fucking endless, bro. It's endless, okay? You're a warrior, all right? Believe in yourself because you have the systems in place, the habits in place, and you're willing to sacrifice who you currently are to get to the fucking version of yourself that you want to become. Boom! Conclusion, baby. Build, execute, dominate. This is how you build a winning framework. It's not complicated, but it's not easy either, okay? It's built on daily execution, discipline, and relentless accountability for yourself. You are no longer guessing your way through life like you fucking used to doing, and you were getting mid fucking results, shit results. You're executing a well-crafted system that will take you where you need to go. Ask yourself this. How bad do you want it? How bad, motherfucker? Because if you're serious about this, you're ready to step up and start winning every day. It's time to build the systems, the habits, and commit to it and dominate your fucking life, okay? You have to earn it, but the only fucking way you're gonna earn shit is if you start laying out the blueprint for yourself, all right? Boom! Let's go, baby, next module.